got a question for you. You're growing peonies in the garden. Do you leave them as is or do you cut them to enjoy them indoors? As you can see, I've done a little bit of both. I've cut some of my peony blooms, but there's plenty left to enjoy outside. For this vase arrangement, I have cut nine of my precious peony blooms. Three were tight in bud, three were middle sized open, and three are pretty much in full bloom. Watch on to the end of the video and I'll show you how I arranged my peonies in this lovely earthenware vase. We've got a very small patch of peonies. I think there's three plants here and we've had them for about five years. And to begin with, there wasn't much of a show at all. So now five years later, they grow into a really thick clump. And you can see here how long the stems are that I'm able to cut. This variety is called Coral Charm. So it opens up as this lovely middle pink. And then as the flowers mature, they fade out to a corally colour, parchment, and then finally to a very pale creamy white. That means over the course of a few days, your vase doesn't just look like a single colour of peony, you get all the colour variation, which is what I love about these flowers and why I pick some of them as small blooms and some of them as more mature ones, so I get a variation over time. I've picked my peonies first thing in the morning. I think this is about seven o'clock in the morning and you can see the sun's coming up so it's going to get hot. So it's always a good idea to pick your flowers in the cool of the morning so that they don't wilt. And what I'm doing here is sorting up my flowers according to size. So I'm getting the three largest ones together, the three middle sized ones and then the three buds. And the buds aren't tight buds, they're just sort of at this marshmallowy stage where they're sh starting to show a little bit of colour and I've got a bit of a squidge to their heads. I'm going to create a framework of three with the smallest buds. So what I do is measure my peonies up against the outside of my vase so I can decide how much I need to cut off the stem ends and then I remove any of the leaves that will be inside the actual body of the vase partly so that they don't fall into the water and start to rot but also it gets a bit congested in the mouth of the vase and I just want a little bit of the natural greenery showing so it will help support the flowers and make them look really natural. I've changed the camera angle here so you can see more clearly what I'm doing but I've got my first three buds in and they're creating this triangle effect. And I'm pointing out here where the gaps are between each of those first three buds and that's where I'll place the slightly larger flowers filling in the gaps. This makes it a lot easier to arrange your flowers. You're not going randomly, you're making patterns of three all the time. So I'm doing exactly the same thing, measuring my flowers for length by holding them up against the outside of the vase, recutting the stems and just taking off the bottom leaves. Peonies have a really short growing season, so they'll probably be coming into bud at the end of May and then they will last a couple of weeks into June and then they're finished for the year. But there is a handy trick you can use to make your flowers last longer and I'll explain a little bit more about that towards the end of the video. So here you can see I've got my first triangle with the three tiny buds and then my second triangle sitting in between with the middle sized flowers and then it's on with my more open blooms. So now I break the rules a little bit I'm going straight into the middle of the vase with the largest of my blooms. I'm just trying to get it to stand up straight and then I'll place the other flowers around the edge just where I see a gap. I've just been watching a really great video by Linda Smith Davis from New England Find Living and she was talking about peonies as well and reminded me of a trick that I learned when I was at Floristry College and that was you can prolong the length of your peonies by cutting them and storing them. So you cut your flowers when they're in bud at that marshmallowy stage, wrap them up in brown paper and leave them in a cool dark place and then when you need them and put them in the vase you recut, them in the st recut the stems and add them to your water in the normal way. I'll add a link to Linda's video in the cards up above and also in the show notes underneath this video. And there you have it, a spectacular 
particular vase of peonies. Let me know in the comments which your favorite, what your favorite variety of peonies are or what color you prefer, the whites, the mid pinks or the darker pinks. I've had this vase of peonies in my living room for three or four days now and it's time that I got rid of them and put them on the compost heap. They fully matured, opened up to this fabulous array of different colors. But the only problem now is the flower heads are shattering and there's petals everywhere. If you've got peonies in your garden, I'd love to hear more about them. Leave me a comment underneath the video. And if you'd like to share your own flower arranging skills, don't forget to check out my free Facebook group, Flower Star World. I'll leave a link to that in the show notes underneath the video too. That's all for me for now, and I'll see you next time.